Hi friends, today we're doing Unit 7, Lesson 14, What It's Like in Space. We're going to jump right into our reading today. We are reading Chapter 9 and 10 from your reader. Chapter 9, A Walk on the Moon. Once Apollo 11 was up in space, the astronauts had to steer it to the moon. There were three astronauts on Apollo 11. You can see them in the image on the next page. Each had a job to do. One of them was in charge of flying the spaceship called Columbia. The other two had to get into a landing craft called the Eagle. Then they had to steer it down and land it on the moon. The astronaut who had to steer the Eagle was named Neil Armstrong. He had to find a good flat spot to land. He also had to set the Eagle down gently. Lots of people tuned in to watch Armstrong and the Eagle on live TV. At first, Armstrong had a hard time getting the Eagle to go where he wanted it to go. But in the end, he landed it just fine. Armstrong sent a message back by radio. The Eagle has landed. The crowds watched it, watching it on TV went wild. They danced and sang. They shouted and waved the United States flag. For the first time ever, humans had landed on the moon. What happened next was even more amazing. The astronauts went for a walk on the moon. There is no air for breathing on the moon. It is also very cold, so the astronauts could not just walk out in shorts and a t-shirt. They had to put on spacesuits like the one in the image on the next page. They had to wear masks. They had to carry tanks full of air for breathing. Armstrong went out first. He went down the steps of the Eagle until he was on the last one. Then he made a little hop. He landed on the moon and kicked up the moon dust. Then he said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Another astronaut joined Armstrong on the moon. His name was Buzz Aldrin. Once again, people watching it on TV cheered. They were proud that the United States had put a man on the moon. While Armstrong and Aldrin were on the moon, pilot Michael Collins stayed on a part of the spaceship that was still orbiting the moon. Armstrong and Aldrin spent more than 21 hours on the moon. They found that it was easy to move about on the moon, which has less gravity than Earth. They could jump up high and seem to float down slowly. They used different tools to explore the moon. They knew the scientists back on Earth were hoping to learn new information about the moon. They, dub they dug up samples of moon rocks to take back to Earth. After exploring the moon, Aldrin and Armstrong got back in the Eagle. They lifted off. They met up with Michael Collins on board the other part of the spaceship. Then all three of them flew back to Earth. The spaceship came speeding back from space and splashed down into the sea. A Navy ship came to pick up the astronauts and take them back to NASA. Chapter 10, What's It Like in Space? Since Apollo 11, many more astronauts have traveled in space. Scientists have learned that there are many differences between Earth and space. One of the biggest differences has to do with gravity. Remember that gravity is a force of attraction that pulls things toward one another. The, of, the force of gravity on Earth is pretty strong. Even the best jumpers can only jump a few feet off the ground. Try it and see. Remember that on the moon, astronauts Aldrin and Armstrong were easily able to jump up high. They didn't come down quickly either. Instead, they seemed to float down slowly. That was because the force of gravity on the moon is not as strong as on Earth. The moon is not as big as Earth, so the force of gravity is not as strong on the moon. If you think that is cool, wait until you read what happens out in space away from the moon or planets. Out in space, astronauts do not feel the effects of gravity. They and their spaceship are moving freely in space. Since the astronaut and the spaceship are moving freely together, the astronauts look and feel as if they are floating. Up in space, lots of things are different. You can do a flip and not worry about whether you will make it all the way around before you come down. Eating is different in space too. I'll bet when you eat lunch at school, your food stays where you put it. If you set it on, on a table, it stays there until you pick it up. The force of gravity holds it down. But if you were up in space, you and your food would be moving freely together. If you let go of it, your food might drift away. There are other differences in space besides less gravity. Do you remember that the astronauts on the moon had to carry tanks of air for their breathing? Another way outer space is different from Earth is that there is no air or oxygen at all in outer space. Look again at the image on page 69 of the astronauts inside the spaceship. The astronauts are not carrying tanks of air. That's because oxygen is being pumped inside the spaceship. Since there is no air in space, you also do not hear sound in outer space. 
It is also very cold in space. The astronauts must train many months before going into space so they know what to expect. Do you think you would like to go into space someday? You may now move on to Unit 7, Lesson 14, Google Form.